Hi guys, you're right. It's Moneymaker. Um, this is my first video, so I am a little bit nervous. And I hope everyone can understand me. I am using my telephone voice, so <laughs> hopefully it comes across okay. I thought I'd make a video regarding the a la MMs. I was originally taking the Roxes and Moxes and I think that's a great strategy still but some I was losing so I kind of lent more towards the Moxes which is more longer term but I was still kind of hit and miss with my trading. I then saw what Steph said in the chat where she says she only takes correlating 15 minutes and one hour whites and I thought that was a really good idea. Then I kind of got tired of waiting for the 5BB bands all the time because sometimes they don't come down to it and the band will flip up and then I'd get really frustrated because I'd missed my trade. So I saw what uh, La Pippi was doing, taking them from the HA bands, so I decided to incorporate that and then I saw what MT was doing with the HA coloured line and I thought that was a really good idea for direction. So I kind of took what MT was doing, took what La Pippi was doing and took what Steph was doing and meshed it all together to kind of create this little thing. So basically, if you know how MT trades, he uses the HA coloured line as his main direction. So if it's green, he takes it up. If it's red, then he takes it down. So whenever MT sees a signal that is with his direction on the HA charts, he enters. I don't know whether he enters with the coloured HA signals or whether it's just yellows and whites. I'm not sure. But that's kind of how MT strategy went. But I decided to take that and kind of correlate it with the others. So the HA coloured line is still your direction and your entry is still with a HA signal, like a yellow or a white. I don't use the coloured signals. Uh, I just find that they're too hit and miss for me. So I wait for the yellows and the whites. Once I've got my direction, I then like to correlate it with the other coloured lines on the 5 and 15 minute to see if they are going in the same direction as the HA. And I also like to correlate the two whites on the 15 minutes and 1 hour and see if they are also pointing in the same way. If you've been here long enough, you will remember the ATM score that we used to have. And it works a little bit like that. So... I did take a screenshot the other day from whilst I was in the room to kind of point out what I mean. So I hope this helps. I'm very much a visual learner, so I only learn when I see things rather than um, kinesthetic or uh, audio learner, is it called? I have to like visualize it. So I've kind of took a screenshot to so you can see what I mean. <laughs> Your direction is always the HA coloured line, but the other signals and lines kind of build the story so you can see whether this is just a small pullback or whether this is actually direction. So the five things that I like to look at to correlate with the HA lines are the HA label. So if that is up and it matches the HA coloured line, then that's one thing with me. I like to match the five minute coloured line. So if that is also green, then that's two things with me for my trade. I like to match the 15 minute coloured line. So if that is green, then that is three things with me for the for a trade. I then look at the 15 minute white. And if that is up, then that would be with me for my trade. I then look at the one hour white. And if that's also up, then that's another thing with me for the trade. So this example which I screenshot the other day from the charts is a 5-0 because I have five things with me and nothing against. So this would be one of the best trades that you could take. In an ideal world every single trade would be like this for me but obviously that's not how the charts work. Sometimes you will have things against you but I like to make sure that I have more with me than against. So I need at least three of those things off that checklist with me 
in order for it to be a trade. If I have a five minute coloured line and a 15 white with me, the 15 minute coloured line and the one hour white against me, I call those 50-50s because it's kind of like you've got half with you and half against. And those are the kinds of trades that I tend to find lose the most because it's a 50-50 whether it's going to go or not. So it's up to you if you want to take those trades. You might just want to take them if you've got the three things with you. I do count the HA label as a correlation, but I do find that it's usually the same as the HA line. Not always, but you'll usually find that they correlate. So I do tend to focus more on correlating the coloured lines and the whites more than anything. Okay, all right, let's look at some videos. Okay, so I'm looking at the April 12th, 2023 demo session. I picked it at random, but I think I've picked a bit of a mad one because, uh, yeah, we've had a bit of news at half past eight. I've skipped it to nine o'clock because I do still wait until after nine. Any trades that I take before nine are usually on demo, but I like to wait until after nine. So the first thing I do when I come into the room is I will look at my direction, which is the HA coloured line. So on GU, um, my direction would be up, UC would be down, GJ would be down and UJ would be down. I do need to bear in mind that we've had a big news move though so these pullbacks now might go bigger than what you normally would have as a pullback so now that i've got my direction i then look at the five minutes so just focusing on gu just so things don't get too confusing so on the gu my ha colored line is green so my direction is up my ha label is correlating because that's also up I then look at the five minute. The five minute line is correlating because it's green, so I have that with me. So it's a two zero so far. The 15 minute is also green, so that's three things with me so far. My 15 minute white is up, so that correlates with my trade. And my one hour white is up, so that also correlates with my trade. So now what I would be thinking is GU is a five zero. I'm just waiting for a HA signal, either a yellow or a white, and then I will look at my entry. And that's basically as simple as it is. Do need to bear in mind that we have had a big news move, so this could drop a bit further, but that is the basics of how I do it. So on GU, we're waiting for a HA signal. On UC, I have a red HA line. So my direction is down, my HA label matches, so that's one thing with me. My five minute coloured line is red, so that's two things with me. My 15 minute is green, so that is against me, so it's a 2-1 at the moment. My 15 minute white is down, so that's three things with me. And my one hour white is down, so that's four things with me. So you see is a 4-1 down. And the only thing that's against me is the 15 minute line. So I would still comfortably take that down if I got a HA signal. And then I would look at an entry for that one. Now, GJ, the HA line is red, so my direction is down. My HA label is down, so that's with me. My 5 minute coloured line is down, so that's with me. My 15 minute is down, so that's with me. My 15 white is down, so that's with me. And my one hour white is also down. So GJ is the same as GU, it's a five zero. So I would be looking to take that down when it next comes up to the HA band. UJ, we have a red colored line on the HA. So my direction is down. The HA label, is matching so that's one thing with me the five minute colored line is red so that's two things with me the 15 minute colored line is red so that's three things with me 
the 15 minute white is down so that's four things with me and the one hour white is down so that's five things with me so uj is the same as gu and gj it's a five zero down so i would comfortably take all four of these when i when i get my entry because they are all pretty solid trades when it comes to my checklist so all as i would be waiting for now is a ha signal I feel like whilst I'm waiting for a signal, I think it's best to notice if you look at the GUHA chart, this is why I don't take the coloured uh, arrows because they just seem to kind of not go anywhere for me. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, we've got a HA yellow and momentum is already in the green because it's a plus. So I would enter now, which is, I can't see the price, 46, 47 maybe. I really can't see that price, it's so small. I think it's 47 or 46. So now I would be, well, I'd be in it. And I, my stop loss would be at 36 or 37. And my take profit would be at 56 and 57. I don't know what price it was when I got in, but I think it's in the 40s. My screen is so small, I can't I can't read the price. But that would have been my entry, that's when I would have entered. Um, I waited for the HA yellow and it appeared and then I was in because momentum was already in the plus. So I didn't need to wait for it to flash. If momentum would have been red and in the minus, then obviously I would wait for it to flash. But it wasn't, so I could just get in. So that's an active trade. GJ is also now an active trade, so I would be in that one. That one is 56, I believe. 56. So my take profit would be 46 and my stop loss would be 68 because I use a 12 stop loss on GJ purely because of how, um, you know, volatile it can be. I have missed the UJ, but that would have also been one of my trades. I really wasn't looking at the UJ at the time. But those would be three active trades that I would be in and the only one I would be waiting for now would be the UC. But three trades at 30 pips a day is enough, really. I, I don't seem to um, be bothered about jumping in every single trade that I see. There's the UC now. There it is. There's your entry. That is at 12? 50? No. 53, 53 I think. So that would be, so I would be in all four now. I'd be in UJ down, GJ down, UC down and GU up. And those would be the four trades that I would take. And I really can't tell you if they've won or not because I can't see the price. But I was in GU at 46 and I think it's at 55 now. So my profit, my take profit would nearly be hit on that one. I've forgotten what price I got in on um, UC. I oh, know I'm terrible. I'm great at this, aren't I? Um, GJ was 55, was it? So that's at 49 now, so that's in the green. And UJ I did miss, but I would have been in that one. And that one would probably be in the green now. GU is now at 57. So... Let's just wait for it to touch 58 so we know it's definitely won. There we go, it's at 60. So GU is won, that's a plus 10. Um, that one's closed. And now UC is at 50. I can't, I really can't see. 52, I think. So I still need a few on that one. And UJ seems to be messing about. Surprise, surprise. And I, Im I imagine that UJ would have probably won. The band on UJ is 11, I believe. So there's there's MT pointing them out now. Um, and price now is at 92. So even if you'd have been in late, let's say like 05, something like that, you would have still won the trade for 10 at 95. So if I would have focused on the UJ, that one would have also been a winner. The only one that looks like it's going to lose is the GJ, but honestly, that doesn't surprise me. But, like I say, I do still lose. I don't win every one. But honestly, I don't mind. Because even if I lose the GJ, 
I won the GU, I would have won the UJ had I entered it, and the UC looks like it's going to come down, so um, that would be a 3-1 for the wins, which means I'd be 30 pips won and then 12 lost because of the GJ, so I would still be up 18 pips. It's good. I'm happy with that. And that's in the first 15 minutes of being in the room. And honestly, guys, that's how simple it is. GJ looks like it's coming up for another entry now, but I would be a bit hesitant with that super yellow on the 15 and the super pink on the one hour, plus that massive news move that we had. But that would also be another entry of mine as it is still a 5-0. Oh, what are you doing, MT? You've changed it. Is this back you, J GJ? Is this GJ? Oh, yeah, he's changed the wrong one. All right. So GJ, yeah, it would be another entry down for me at this point. And there's your entry. Six. I really can't read the price. Is it 80, 61? 62? Maybe. 61, 62, something like that. Um, GJ would now be... That would be another entry. Although I wouldn't actually be in the GJ because I'm still in it from before and I don't like to stack in case it does go up and lose. But I'm just trying to point out that that would also be another entry if you weren't in the GJ. Um... And yeah, guys, it really is that simple. It really is. Let's try and skip ahead. Come on, you're down. Come on. Okay, so here is another entry on the UC. You have a HA yellow. Your five line is red. Your 15 line is now red because it has just changed. Your 15 white is down and your 1 hour white is down. So UC is now a 5 0 down. It was a 4 1 before, um, but the 15 line has now changed, making it a 5 0. So I would be waiting on an entry on that. Um, what I wanted to point out for this part is the UJ, um, not the UJ, the GJ. You can see that the HA line has just changed colour to green. So this would be now where I would stop trading the GJ. MT uh, would now start taking it up because he just goes with the coloured line. But I would now hold my horses and I would wait because I have, I have a green HA line. There's your entry on UC, by the way. That is, what price is that? 67 I think um yeah this is why I skipped forward because I wanted to point this out the my direction for GJ would now be up because the HA line is green but my five minute line is against me my 15 line is against me my 15 white is against me and my one hour white is against me. So I have a one four, which is not a trade that I would take at all. So now one of two things will happen. Either the GJ will come back down and the HA line will turn red again and the down will then continue, which would be where I would start entering down again once the HA line has changed to red. Or, if the GJ does continue up, your 5 line and your 15 white will change and then eventually your 15 line and your 1 hour white will change. So you're waiting for one of those two things to happen. You're either waiting for the HA line to change back or you're waiting for the 5 line and the 15 white to match up. But I only enter when I have three things with me or more, obviously. So now I would need the five line to change to green and I would need a 15 white before I would even consider taking the GJ up. And there's your UC, that's probably one now. I wish I could see the price, but honestly I can't see the prices, guys. It's so small. But um, yeah, then that's how I trade. That is it, really. Like I say, 
I do still lose. Um, I have my fair share of losses. And that's a part of trading. You can't expect to win every single trade that you take. I wish that was p possible, but it's not. You will still um, lose it. There's MT pointing out the GJ up. I would not have taken that, but MT would have, and he would have won it. So yeah, I hope this has kind of helped some people. I will just point out that ranging days are quite difficult, and I still lose on those days, usually. Um, I don't lose the day, but I will lose a lot more trades than I than I um, would in a normal running day. Um, but like Jas says, you can always just take the five minute yellows on ranging days instead of uh, your HA running signals. So yeah, I hope this has helped. Another thing I do just want to point out, I couldn't really find an example, but when the HA line is red, green, red, green, and it's very much in the middle of the bands, I tend to stay, I would tend to stay away from that pair purely because it's obviously ranging because the HA line hasn't got a set colour. I do like the HA line to have a set colour. Um, again, with this GJ, it would be a perfect example. The green has come and the HA line is now green, but it's not set yet. The GJ could easily just drop and the HA line turn back red and then it would match your 5 and 15 again. And that's why I don't like to jump in when the HA line changes because it might not be a definite change. It could just be a bigger pullback. Um, so I like the HA line to have a set colour. And I also don't trade the ones that are uh, changing colour all the time. I'm just going to skip forward because I am intrigued whether this GJ goes down again or whether the five line changes. So you obviously would have won the up and there you go. Can you slightly see the green line on the five now? So your five has changed and now you would just be waiting for this and you want to get a 15 white with you which will be coming soon by the looks of things. See, all of this on the GJ I wouldn't be in because I'm waiting for one more thing with me, which is not here yet. So I'd be waiting, waiting. There's your 15 minute white. So now I would take the GJ up. I know it seems ridiculous because of all that up move you've already had, but this is just how I have to do it because I I end up getting confuzzled in the middle when it's picking a direction. So with the GJ now, I have my direction, which is a solid green coloured line. So my direction is up. My HA label is with me. My five minute line is with me. My 15 white is with me. My 15 line is against and my one hour white is against. So this is a 3-2, which is the minimum that I will trade. So now I would just be waiting for the GJ to come down to the HA BB band, get a white or a yellow HA signal, momentum, and then I would be in the up. The HA band has flipped up. There's your entry, I would be in there. That is a 05? 05. I think I've finally got a uh, number right. So my entry would have been 05, so my take profit would be 15 and my stop loss would be 93. So now we will see. It's at 08. Back down. Okay, it went down to 97, so I've not lost it. There's another entry if you weren't in. And now it's going to go up to, it's back at 08. I need 15, GJ, come on. I need 15. 14, 15. Just make sure that it definitely would have won. Let it touch 16. Come on. Touch 16. Come on, GJ. Come on. Come on. Uh, is it touched it? There you go. So there's another winner on GJ. And honestly, guys, that is what I do all day. I literally just look at things and 
and uh, that's how I enter and that is how I trade that's how I trade so yeah I hope this has been helpful the little PDF that I made I will share with MT and he can share it with the room because I know Le Pippi and others were asking for the checklist so I will share that with MT and yeah if you have any more questions ask me in the chat I'm not always looking at chat because I'm sometimes waiting for an entry or I'm looking at my lines or whatever so if um, I don't respond, I'm not ignoring, I'm just probably not in the chat. But I do try and have a little gander when I can. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, ask me in the chat. And I hope this will help any other serial strugglers like myself to earn money and have a financially free life. I'll see you in the room. Bye guys.